All right, welcome everybody to the Superfood Social. Can you all, are, am I, if people in the speaker view, are you seeing me, Christina, I'm on? My speaker view is not showing me, but as long as y'all are seeing me, I think it should show up on the recording. Okay, great, thanks, Chris. Um, what am I drinking? <laughs> I just worked out, so I'm having my post-workout MVP sport with some cacao in it, because I love chocolate. Cheers. All right, so welcome to our Thursday Training Mastermind. My name is Christina Mon, Two Star Crown, and I am really, really, really honored to share today's call. We have a host of extraordinary rank advancers who are gonna be telling their story all throughout the spectrum of rank advancements. Hope I don't have shake on my nose. And um, I'm gonna be doing the first half of the call and then our grand finale of the call will be our newest crown, Carrie Drinkwine, is gonna be taking over the second half. So definitely stay through to the end. It's going to be amazing, jam-packed with stories, inspiration. You know, th these are the nuggets that we wanna like take with us into our success and into our month and our run. So quick drop in on seasonal training. It's the beginning of November. We are in it. If you've been on all of Leslie's trainings and all of our trainings, you know that we are in this really powerful 30 or 90 day, three month portal of momentum that's leading up to resolution season, which is kind of the peak you know, all blowout season for this industry. And so what we experience during that massive tsunami of activity is based on what we're doing now. And that's why there's like massive momentum right now, right? Drop a one in the comments if you're aware that Perium just had its largest October in 17 year history. And that's amazing, that is so exciting. So we're in it, we're in that momentum and it feels, it's holding us, it's carrying us. That's where we wanna be. We wanna have created momentum to where we're being carried with it. Um, not that we're gonna take our feet off the pedals or anything at this point, but we are going to uh, keep going and keep running to really maximize that, especially if we're planning to enjoy the holidays. So what we do now at the beginning of November can set us up to potentially even achieve our goal before, you know, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving or you do want to take off at some point, you know, setting ourselves up to be able to um, hit our, our goal or even like a baseline foundation of stability before and really be able to enjoy time. You know, at the end of the day, it's a period of time where most people have off of school and work and can be a time where loved ones gather. So if you enjoy taking time to be present with people, it can be really powerful to do a mini marathon at the beginning of the month right now. Almost everybody on this call, I believe, was inviting into a fall transformation last month. Keep inviting into it. Use this week right now to keep leveraging that same transformation. Who cares if somebody starts a few days late, right? Like you still have all of the, the squares and the momentum and you've dripped on people and you have funnels full, you have follow-ups, like let people know that it's okay to overlap. It's okay to jump in a little bit late. Like you would love to do this with them. So just keep, keep up that inviting momentum. Okay, so that was a little piece. Drop a three in the comments if you have declared your rank with corporate. It literally takes 15 seconds. Drop a three if you have declared your rank. We're gonna hear it from Isabel later on who has already won $200 cash because she declared her rank last month and achieved it. So you have an opportunity to get into a cash pool by declaring and achieving your rank and points, which sometimes is worth more than cash, right? When you're going for a goal. So those, you can get points from this 100,000 point pool towards your goal next month if you declare now and achieve. Drop a four if you're planning to declare, right? So everybody should have a three or a four. And if you are in, if you're a four, go ahead and do it right now. If somebody could drop that link in the chat, that would be epic. Um, 
like I said, it takes 15 seconds, super quick. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do it. And you want to put the goal that you're, that you feel confident that you can declare you will achieve this month, even if that's maintaining or advancing. So <clears throat> if you're a four, put a five once you've done it, once you've declared your rank. Okay. Um, I believe, thank you so much. Mary Beth Fleming has dropped the link there. So go ahead and grab it and even send it to somebody who's not on this call right now that you want to make sure that they, because if they get those points, guess who else gets them? You do. So we're all invested in helping people declare the rank. Okay. Um, my notes ran away. So hopefully I got everything I wanted to cover there. So we're going to jump right into shares here. Um, and our very first share is our newest, I'm going to pass the mic over to our newest black diamond coming in hot, hit blue diamond last month, declared, gave up, didn't think she was going to make it and hit it anyway. And I am personally thrilled to hear your story, Demetra. You inspire me. You rewire me. You are just such a joy and a delight and a gift to have on this team to watch how you're weaving your gifts and genius into your business, into your service, into your community, uh, making your why come alive, come true, re here on earth, pulling heaven down onto earth. And I'm so excited to hear from you and your newest diamond. So take it away, sister. Uh, thanks for having me, Christina, and for all those beautiful words. I'm sorry I have to be in a car today, which is very unusual for me. Um, but yeah, Black Diamond, I, you know, I hit blue last month and I felt the momentum that I had created from blue. And in my heart, it felt like black was right there. And I told my upline, Sarah, like, I'm going for black. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go. I'm not going to stop. And I made a ritual and I put, I wrote my, my rank, um, black diamond, and I put it on paper and put it in my singing bowls <laughs> in the beginning of the month. And I just started playing singing bowls and I sent Sarah a picture and, and she was just like rituals, everything in this business. And it sounds like so woo woo, right? Like, but when you set that intention, when you write it down, when you declare it in like, and like in that declaration form that Christina put out and just like writing it on like a physical thing and making it a ceremony so that when you're returning to your business every day, it's like a ceremony and a sanctuary and it is pulling heaven to earth. It's not just, you know, it's not just business. It's like manifestation and alchemy and it's exciting that way, you know, when you create it um, in that way. Uh, so the month was going well and I was in the green, like 10,000 in the green for most of the month and everything was, you know, on track and on pace. Um, and then the week before the end of the month, I, I was 20,000 points away and there were seven days. So I was like, okay, I just need 3000 points a day. That's very doable. Um, but then suddenly the momentum stopped, like the, the points weren't going up as quick as I thought. And I was two days away from the end of the month. Sorry about this noise. <laughs> and I needed 10,000 points and it just felt like the momentum wasn't there to create them. And so, I was starting to feel a lot of tension and stress in my body about it, just kind of like grasping and gripping and, and I just let it go. And I told Sarah, I was like, it's okay. I'm not going to go black. And I know that's not the best attitude, but <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to feel this. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go into the forest. I'm going to let it go. And I think there was something to that, to, to just not having my nervous system all wrapped up in it. And so I let it go and went into the forest and yeah. And then on the very last day, I still had 10,000 points to go. And I, it still felt painfully close, but throughout the day, the points kept coming in because the team was activated and I just poured all my energy into my team and helping them hit their, like their best part. that was lighting me up enough just to like help people in that last week meet their goal. And 
I had Christy who hit diamond like a rock star five days or before the end of the month. And Christy just kept running through the tape and left, right, and center. She like hit it three times in the month and then she got her 10 um, for that extra thousand points. She was like my lifesaver. She was like a total queen. And so, yeah, it was, it was returning to that intention on that last day and just giving it my all, like what it was too close to not. And, you know, just focusing on my team, hitting their goals, breathing life and activating everyone and celebrating everyone's ranks and, and having Christy run beside me was like, like I could cry. Like she just got it, you know, like she, she just rose into such a queendom. So I would love to have Christy share about her experience um, hitting diamond because it was just incredible to witness. <laughs> Ooh, it makes me cry <laughs> to just watch, you know, someone really like click in and, and rise up into leadership the way that Christy did this past month. So Christy, do you want to share? <laughs> oh, thank you, Demetra. <laughs> You're such an angel and magical being. And I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you and with all the amazing, amazing, powerful women on our team. And I know we're attracting more, we all are. And yeah, that was such a trip. Um, reaching Diamond, I had, at the beginning of the month, I had written it out, I declared it out loud, I'm gonna reach Diamond by Christmas. And I just like set this limiting belief in myself because I felt like, okay, diamond, whoa, like let's just give myself some time, no stress, no pressure. And then I think it was like a week and a half, it was might even have been two weeks in. I'm like, Demetra, I declared it and I wrote it down for Christmas. And she's like, why don't you do it by the end of this month? I'm like, why don't I do that by the end of this month? And so I just crossed it out in my book and I wrote to the like at the end of the month, I'll hit diamond and declared it. I drew diamonds everywhere whenever I was near paper. And it's just, I, I was just in that energy of like, I just know what that's going to feel like. I know the day, the day that you're like, why not this month? And then it just all shifted. And my entire being just knew that I was going to reach diamond. And then, yeah, I did before the month end, like probably four or five days before, I think. And instead of just sort of going cool I reached diamond let's like chill out and do nothing I just kept going like as if I hadn't reached diamond and I was still just going to like the very last like hour it's it's amazing that portal like right before that that last hour is everything and yeah and I just saw like midnight 76 percent to green diamond I was like oh my god I almost hit green diamond so Obviously that's what I'm going for this month. And I just, I loved that experience. At the beginning of the month, I thought UBT was impossible still for some reason. And I had three of them in that last two weeks of the month. And it's just such a beautiful experience. And now I know the energy of all of that and I'm bringing that into this month. So, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Drop some love in the comments. I wanna highlight UBT. Christy, you got all 10 UBT, is that correct? So that's like an extra thousand points, right? They're running at the end of the month. They're looking for thousands of points. And boom, Christy's like, oh, I got my 10th UBT. So on top of the 500 she was getting for, I think you got three UBTs, and then you went over and got that 10th, and then there's another thousand, boom. Like, if you're leaving UBT, free UBT points on the table, here's what's possible, you know? And the other thing I want to say about this team, Demetra and Christy, from my observation, is that you all are leveraging widen your reach free points to the max. Like, again, not leaving free points on the table. So here's Demetra looking for thousands of points at the end of the month. If she finds three people who maybe aren't running for a goal, but she can get them to maximize their widen your reach, that's 1,500 points right there right if they get all 500 for the month but you know not waiting till the end of the month but setting people up like just go ahead and do this you know and then at the end some people are still running some aren't but if all those people not running at least got you 500 free points of widen your reach you're stoked 
So everybody here needs to duplicate that into our teams, the way that these incredible women are. I see you all tagging Superfood Social on every one of your stories, tagging your upline. So they're all getting shared, which means your team is also seeing it. You know, so it's creating, it's setting a culture. It's creating a culture of doing wide in your reach, sharing your wide in your reach, tagging Superfood Social. That's just what we do. It's just what we do. We get UBT, we do wide in your reach, we take all those free points. We rank advanced, success leaves clues. So amazing work. Okay, Demetra, back in for the Hanaho, as we call it in Hawaii. <laughs> had to add um jilly jilly is not even on my team she's on a whole other she's in a whole other province and jilly and i were in contact and she literally took my hand and was like girl let's run together and she, it, like to me that is sisterhood when you know it's not her team it's like she was like let's go together <laughs> and i just want to say like this is the community of superfood social like we all work together no matter whose team we're on we're like sisters healing the witch wound like running together doesn't matter and that was so powerful to me like i was in tears with um jilly behind me and yeah like that faith and that belief because i didn't have my belief and i had jilly like you can do this <laughs> and she was like you know, she had the shakes and the tears and all like the, the heart racing, just like me. <laughs> so that was really, really inspirational. And I just can't thank you enough, Jilly, for, for doing that. Beautiful. Yep. Generosity never got anyone poor. So beautiful. Thank you for those shares. And I'm just going to move it right along. So we have so many incredible stories today. Congratulations. And, um, I have somebody else who needs to hop off early. So Isabel, are you here? And can you share about, not only did this, only woman did this one hit um, executive, but went way past executive, ha completely had her structure for diamond, was running for diamond, didn't reach diamond, but reached your executive goal. And yeah, let's, let's hear what, tell us your story, Isabel, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, um, wow, this like tiny little phone gets my heart beating so fast. Ah, hi, everybody. Um, just to contextualize this on like September 28th at like 7 p.m., I had given up on hitting director with like 1300 points in my back office. And Erica and Christina hit me up and they were like, you're going director, right? And I was like, me? me I'm gonna go director I don't think so I don't think it's gonna happen and they just really showed up for me and helped me work through it and I just like had a moment of deciding oh shit like I can do this I'm gonna do it and I went for it and my team showed up for me and they were super supportive and it was such a powerful expansive moment and I was like oh my god I hit this huge goal for myself this is amazing and the next month I was like okay six thousand points like geez Louise this is a really big deal can I do this and actually when I hit executive, it, I didn't even know what happened. It was the first time that ever happened for me that I just had points rolling in from somebody on my team that I didn't even know were coming in. And it was really beautiful to log in and be like, shit, look at that, it's, it's done, it's there. And this whole process really started for me around the retreat in, in Kona that we all did here in Hawaii a couple months ago when um, I was so new in the business and I like, was so kind of cocooned in my sweet, innocent, limiting beliefs about myself. And uh, a dear, wise friend told me, hey, if you hit Diamond by Diamond Club, I'll help you get there. And I was like, I'm not going to hit Diamond by then. I am just, I don't make time for my dreams. I don't do that. That's not me. I'm not going to go big like that. And she was like, why not you? And in that moment, I was able, I just like squeezed my brain just enough to like peer through the veil of my own like self-doubt and decided like why not why why couldn't I do that the only reason I can't is if I tell myself that I can't and since then the belief that I've cultivated in myself that not only can I do this but I am it is happening it's all already coming together my team has grown by like seven incredible people and more to come in the last month and they're all like totally inspired and beautiful and powerful and 
it's it's happening quickly and it's incredible and what's really working for me is like the psychic and spiritual practice of deciding every day like yes this is what I'm doing I believe in it it's meaningful it's magical and it's a gift that I get to share and not letting it turn into anything but like the most alchemistic magic offering that I could possibly hold and holding it with such reverence like it's a spiritual practice for me to do this work and um that allows it to stay so close to the center of my heart that people feel it when I speak to them about it and people feel inspired and they feel like belief in themselves and to me like growing my team with that with that energy has just been like such a dream come true and my mentors are fucking amazing and my sweet friend Kula jumped on my team and she's just a total rock star and I could go on forever but it's yeah, what's working for me is just really staying close to my heart and and trusting that I have a lot of love to share. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Yay, amazing, Isabel. So beautiful to watch you step into that and see what you've created now. Your team is absolutely on fire. I know you're going diamond this month. You were already running, mapping it out, getting in the frequency, and all of that is going to lend itself to the achievement this month. So so exciting congratulations and i want to bring on one more um brief share and then i have another a couple of more shares and then i'm gonna pass it off to carrie um mary are you on here and can i bring you on this is a very new brand partner on my team um hit fast start director last month and this is really speaking to the power of hitting those fast starts of just coming in and making it a non-negotiable that we hit fast starts and we help people on our team hit fast starts and it really sets the tone for momentum on your team so i know mary you're so brand new you're still figuring it out all the things out we love you we love people like that i was the same way um just tell us like how you made the decision to go for it and what's working for you and what you're excited about yep i'm here i don't know if you have to push something else you're good okay <laughs> Congratulations. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I I hit fast. Fast starts the ten day, right? Well, it's fast. Fast start know. consultant is the ten day, and then you hit director last month. And then I hit director. Okay. Ah. Yes. Hang on. Um, why did you pick this picture up and this one down? Hang on, I'll be right with you. Okay, honey. Go ask mommy. Um. Yep. Yeah. Hit fast start, and then director was like seriously a half an hour and i just needed one person and i got two people so yeah it was really exciting and i am really new to this and i'm like just figuring it all out but it's fun and i'm getting my team together and people under me um and thank you christina because you're always super supportive <laughs> i think that's it <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Mary. And I'll just highlight like what I see really working for you is you're coachable. Like you don't know all the things, but you're, whatever I tell you, you're like, okay, I'll go do it. And yeah. then you're doing the same, you're duplicating the same thing. Now you have these like amazing people who have come onto your team and you're holding that same frequency of just like, yeah, go do this thing. It's just what we do. It's just, it's like a neutral energy. Just like, yeah, we do it. Like there's no fear. There's no like questioning it. It's just, yeah, we just do this. <laughs> so you're awesome. I love working with you. We haven't even met in person yet, even though we're on the same island, but we're like, I know, I feel like I have a good you... today. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks for, yeah. Thanks for coming on. Yes. And next, I am going to bring on our newest diamond, one of our newest diamonds. We already had one, another new diamond. Um, Sarah, are you on this call? This is somebody who I've been working with. You'll have to tell us how long. Um, and, you know, has been, you've been creating incredible community. Um, Okay, yeah, you are on here. You've been uh, cultivating beautiful community, really bringing your your in person community together with all of your gifts, creating containers for people to come and shine and be together and leveraging group transformations. And then you brought somebody powerful onto your team and now you're diamond. We want to hear your story, Sarah. Thanks, Congratulations. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. I got on a little late. I was having some technical issues with my phone, so I'm sorry to have missed the beginning half, but 
Yeah, I'm really excited to be really part of this community overall. I've been a part of Perium for probably about a year and a half now and working with you, Christina, has been really sweet. Um, when I first signed up, I was really, um, it was during the mass chaos of, of our world and everyone was losing their jobs, including me. And I was just in a place of like, what can I do that is, you know, work that's resilient, that um, I can work for myself, I can work when I want, how I want, where I want, and I can still thrive when there's like economical um, hardship happening. So Perium came into my life at that time. It was a super blessing. I said yes right away. And I just feel like I've been really clear and consistent with what I want to see happen with it. Um, you know, that's really kind of my why is to be able to have location freedom, to be able to work in a community team setting because I was working for myself, by myself for the most part before that. And it's a lot of hard work. So I was really excited to jump into a team setting to feel that support and um, and to also bigger level on on the bigger scale to be able to support a company that works with regenerative farming practices that's more sustainable that really cares about actually our earth and how we can move forward with all of these other patterns and and ways of being that are shifting. So um, yeah, so I will say that when I first did my first ULT and was able to invite people to join me, I realized at the end of that 30 days that that was going to be my steps to take is to keep offering these 30 day um, health transformations in a group setting to be able to keep calling people into sharing the product and then sharing the business as well. And that's what's really has worked for me is to um, you know, utilize some of the superfood social group transformations that you've offered and then keep rolling them out um, with my team that I've grown. And it's been great because then we are offering to people that are local with us, um, you know, in-person mini retreats, which we're doing this weekend. We're offering extra resources and um, just amazing offerings and collaborating in a team sense. So, that's really kind of how I've taken this business model and worked with it and it keeps growing. And then of course, um, I'm not sure if Audrea shared or not already because I missed the beginning, but you know, bringing Audrea on, she's just a superstar, one of my best girlfriends. And I'm so grateful that she's on my team. She, I had to, it took a couple of times, I mentioned it to her and she's like, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And then uh, when she was ready, she just like was on fire and just blew through it. And um, I'm just so proud of her to help, you know, see the vision and have the momentum and excitement. And what's worked for that as well is the duplication process. So giving her really clear steps when she signed up um, on what to do, how to plug in, and then how to um, access those fast start bonuses and why that is so important and exciting to keep that momentum. So I told her, take notes, here's the steps, and then share it with your brand partners right away. So it just keeps in that duplication process. And she did that so well. And it really helped this last month raise her up to executive, actually almost really close to Diamond in her second month. Imperium, which is pretty amazing. And, you know, it really helped my um, other team out as well. So um, yeah, that's all I really want to say that the duplication process is, I think, key to this, to this um, overall business and to the widen your reach as well really helped me to um, expand my network through Instagram to become more empowered to see how I can be more creative and access different ways and and then gain um, incentive and points from that. Amazing. Congratulations, Sarah. And yeah, Audrea has not shared yet. Do you want to bring her on? 
Yes, of course. So I'd love to introduce Audria, my sweet sister, sound healing sister to the group and super powerhouse fiery mama. Audria. Thank you for that beautiful introduction. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just so grateful to be a part of this whole Perium family, especially the Superfood Social. It just seems like, you know, our visions are very much in alignment. Um, Sarah and I have been doing sound healing together for over five years, and it just seems like such a beautiful complement now with the nutrition to really help people in our community and also globally just really activate with this high, dense nutrition and um yeah, I definitely, um, I almost hit diamond last month and it was kind of a bit of a shock. It was like, I only have 3000 points to go and just really like trying to like run with my team, but also just like know that I reached this huge goal in such a short amount of time and just be grateful for that. Um, and uh, my goal was to reach executive last month. So I'm, you know, running for diamond still in hopes and um, believing that I'll definitely make it December. Um, you know, I just, I feel like my team still needs to um, germinate and like fruit a little bit more and that's fine. I don't feel like I really want to push um, and just watch this naturally unfolding like a flower in a garden and just trust that that'll happen in December. And um, yeah, I think what's really worked for us as a team is um, yeah, just really the complementary, you know, like how it fits already into our daily lives and how we can share that, you know, with our gifts and empowering others as brand partners to ask them, you know, how they're thriving and how they want to, um, you know, raise their income with what they're already doing. And, you know, massage therapists, yoga instructors, other sound healers, um, definitely reaching out to um, a lot of women that are really connected already into that space of, um, you know, manifestation, prayer, co-creating with community and um, just knowing that we're all making a huge positive impact on this earth it feels really good amazing incredible work over twelve thousand points with structure for diamond last month everybody cheer audria on it's happening for sure and the theme i want to highlight for everybody who shared so far is faith right you can hear the belief in their into the core of their being and feeling so I loved what Christy said is like, I already knew what it felt like to achieve diamond. So when you can bring the feeling of an achievement that you haven't even had yet, but you can actually feel that in present time, you can merge present and future. That's cool. So I'm going to pass it off to so a queen who has been so amazing at bringing faith and feeling into your business. You have all been teaching and training us. You have been wearing your crown long before you achieved crown. I love you, I adore you, I'm honored to work with you. Carrie Drinkwine, everybody give it up, drop some love in the comments for our newest crown. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. I always get so nervous, even though I don't seem like I'm nervous. I totally am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. I want to leave plenty of time because I have a lot of people to feature today because I didn't hit crown, we hit crown. And it really was this insanely collective movement that I honestly wasn't entirely sure was going to happen. So I felt like that crown energy actually last month. So not, not in October, I actually felt it in September. I could feel like this upload frequency that like when I was going to bed, I was like, oh, this is like crown frequency, you know? Like I just knew it was coming, I knew it was happening. Um, and I had really built a system in our team. So for the people that are on our team, we've really built successful tools. Um, in order to create this business to just continuously operate. So it's like a system that duplicates. And so when I hit crown last month or a few days ago, whatever that was, it feels like forever ago already. Uh, it was really quite a chaotic day. Um, I was flying to Mexico by myself with my babies the entire month I was in the green. And just like Demetra was sharing, like the week before it was like, er, like everything came to a stop. And I was like, well, I mean, I hosted a regional training. I took over ownership of my clinic. I fully remodeled the clinic. Um, I was in legal stuff as I was getting the Institute of Regenerative Health off the ground. I had several lawyer meetings and like I had so much going on in addition to seeing 40 
patients a week, approximately some, some weeks, 30, some weeks, 40, some weeks more. Um, and I have babies. So I had all the good excuses, right? Like why I couldn't hit crown. And where I feel like this really has shifted in, in who I am and in my business and this business is literally self-development. That is the business because you can only do so much. You can only do so much as one person, but we can do a lot together. So I've had that crown posture, I feel like for a really long time, but I didn't necessarily have the bodies or the leaders or, um, you know, the things that come along with the points that add up to crown. And so I have been working through my own internal energy and my own, you know, like hustler mentality is kind of how I've always lived. Like, oh, I have to work harder. I have to do more. I have to, you know, it's like the hamster on a wheel thing. And all month long, as all my energy was in all these different places, I mean, granted, I'm still supporting my team. I do host like 28 calls a week for my, or 28 calls a month for my team, but I wasn't doing any extra. I wasn't prospecting extra. And I kept beating myself up. Like the narrative in my head was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so close and I'm going to miss it. It's going to be all my fault because I have all these other things going on. Like who would have thought it's October? And I caught myself, say that out loud. And then I looked at my husband and I said, no, what if I change that narrative entirely? What if like I hit crown with ease and I'm not even in there? Like I'm just letting the system operate itself. And so immediately at that point, because I've been doing a lot of like biofeedback therapy and working on, you know, like the field that's around us, like what we believe about ourselves is the energy that we're going to portray. It's like when you walk into a room and somebody's complaining, you immediately want to leave that room because it's really thick, heavy and negative, right? So I've really been working on the words that I say in my mind. The words that I say out of my mouth are pretty much always positive for the most part. And then sometimes you're not, but in my mind, like what is the dialogue in your mind? So every time I had that thought like, oh my gosh, I should be doing more. I replaced that thought with I'm hitting crown with ease. The less I do, the more it comes. The less I do, the more it comes. And I know that's not like the work, structure, work, structure, but I did the work. I've done the work. I've done the structure. I've done the trainings. I've built the system. I've done all the things. Like it's all there. So this mentality in my mind that I have to do more, I have to do more. It's no, it's all here for us. It's all here. I have an amazing team. We're incredibly connected. They're powerful, powerful leaders. And I just decided to let go and let them run. And I was like, you, you ladies have got it. Like you women are powerful. And it was just more about empowering them to dig deep in their lines. And so really our strategy, the last day of the month, I needed, a, I think I needed 12,000 points um, the morning I woke up and I was boarding a plane with a three-year-old and a one-year-old by myself to Mexico. When I landed, I had no cell phone service. First, I told this story in the Leslie Zam call. So if you were there, you're hearing it again, but uh, I don't know why my phone wasn't working at first. I was like, oh my gosh. And then my car service that we use every time we come here wouldn't kick me up because my husband put it under his name on accident and I was traveling alone and I couldn't even contact him. They're like, we need a picture of his ID and then we'll pick you up. I couldn't. And it was this long thing, but it turns out I was labeled as an extreme wanderer um, for being out of the country more than six months last year, which is amazing. Like life goals become an extreme wanderer um, because this business has given me so much financial freedom. I've been able to work incredibly remotely or just go off grid to the point where they shut your phone down. So keep an eye on that. Um, but that was the last day of the month. That was my run was no phone service. I've got two babies. I'm standing at the airport. We're dripping sweat. And then finally I have to get another service. I get to the villa. The person that's supposed to be at the villa isn't there. And I still don't have a phone. So I'm like knocking on my neighbor's door. She contacted this woman in the United States that contacted my husband that got my phone service up. Like there was just all these moving pieces. And I was like, really? Like, this is the day I'm running for ground. Like all this stuff is happening. Um, and then the Wi-Fi in the villa wasn't working and my phone was like dial up internet speed. And I was like, oh dear Lord. <laughs> and my baby was just screaming like his travel day. They got up at four o'clock in the morning. So I just got in my team and I was like, Hey team, here's what's up. I just got the plane. I haven't had Wi-Fi. My baby won't let him put him down. We are so close to crown. 
as a team, we really hit crown as a team. And I really felt that with my entire team. They were like, we hit crown, not I hit crown, we hit crown. And I was like, team, we are so close. And we've been running for this goal. Like, here's my advice. Dig in your line. All of you leaders, get in your line, find out who's close to the next K club and let them know how close they are and that they get a $50 bonus. Get in your line and find out who's still running. Get in your line, find out who's close to the next rank. And then I threw out incentives and I said, whoever places, um, if you could just mute yourself here. Um, I said, whoever places an order of $200 or more, we gave an incentive for. I put them in a drawing for a prize. And then I gave another incentive for whoever hit UBT by the end of the night. And my team just rocked it. Like I was blown away. We needed 12,000 points when I boarded the plane. And we ended up going like three or 4,000 points past crown. So we were actually 78% of the way to two-star crown when we finished the month out. Um, and it was the most calm and easeful rank I'd ever hit. It was bizarre. I was like, it's all coming. I just knew it. I just knew it was all coming in. And the second I had got, was able to get out of my like nervous system was really wound up from the travel day and the kids screaming and then no Wi-Fi. And I was like, just sit down and look at what's here. And then I looked at my line and I was like, oh, it's all here. It's all here. It's all coming. And so I really just reached out for help. I asked for help. I gave incentives. I sent out an email and it came flooding in. And it's really because everyone felt connected. We did a team event at the beginning of the month. We hosted a regional. And I really think that that mentorship and that ability to feel like you're part of something, not just running for someone else's goal. That's why we work for ourselves in this business. We don't work for a corporation is because we're, you know, we get to run our own business and run our own lives. So I think that the difference between when you are closing out the month and you're like, oh my gosh, nothing's moving, nothing's happening. The disconnect is that your team maybe isn't feeling connected to you or your cause or your purpose. And so how can you cultivate more of a community, more of a connection, seeing people lighting up their gifts and making them feel valued and important and part of something huge. Um, so I really think that that's what got us there. And I want to bring on my first share today is I'm so insanely proud of this woman. Um, she's literally the reason I'm here today. She was my detox specialist when I had lupus and Hashimoto um, and helped me heal. And is the reason I do the work that I do. She's the reason I own a clinic now. Um, and so this goes to show you the power of one voice. And I love I love that story because I have helped over thousands, like thousands of people now in my clinic because Carrie Tidwell shared her voice with me. And so she's here and has been taking her business very organically, very casually for a long time. And when I was in Mexico back this, you know, a few months back, when I hit Red Diamond, I reached out to Carrie and I said, Carrie, I have Red Diamond. You're the only thing I need to actually get all the way there. You have to be a diamond. And I was like, if I said, I have the volume, I don't have the structure. And I incentivized her to light a fire under her butt and um, share, and she did it because she was connected to me because we have a friendship and a bond and a trust and a love for each other. And from that moment forward, she has been on fire and just ranked green diamond and was like way past green. She was like way on her way to blue. She's building the structure for blue and I'm just so proud of you, Carrie. So if you can just take some time to share, I'd love it. Yeah, thanks, Carrie, and congratulations again. You're definitely paving the way and showing what's possible. So if it wasn't for you doing this, I don't think I'd be where I am. So I appreciate you and how you show up for the team is incredibly inspiring. I still don't even know how you do all the stuff you do, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that, but you, um, the way you show up and the way you're there for everybody to hit their goals is really beautiful. And that was a good example for me, even though I was way past, I knew I would hit my goal um, way before I did, way before the end of the month, um, I still wanted to make sure everyone was at their goal. So it was, it was almost like I was running for a goal, but I, even though I was past mine, but wanting to help um, the people on my team who were so close and like, it was just crazy if they missed it. And so it was fun to um, have, like give that back to people that were, that I brought in um, and see that excitement in that um, support to help them out 
And that was actually more fun. I was like more excited to help them advance than I really was even hitting green, even though I was excited that I knew I was going to have that. But I was like more excited to have new leaders and, and people that were on fire for this business and this mission like I was. And that's what I was really calling in was I want to. I want to have brand partners who are ready to run. Like I'm ready to do this business. And it wasn't until Carrie lit that fire under me that I was like, okay, maybe I should take this seriously. Cause there was times where I was doubting myself and wondering like, should I even do this anymore? Or cause it takes, you know, it takes time or I know what it's like to go diamond. I think I got scared after going diamond because of all of the work. And I was like, I don't know if I could do that every month, but now I'm seeing like when you find people who are ready to run with you, you don't have to do it all alone um, and seeing how you can connect in with people who are wanting to share in this mission of, you know, ending human suffering and regenerating the earth soil. Like I, I finally found people that are ready to run like that and are doing incredible. And it's so fun to do that with people in community and do it together and not alone. Um, Cause I, I've always had a huge passion of wanting to make this information common knowledge of like people should know how to heal their bodies. And we're doing that. And Carrie is a huge part of all the educational classes she's doing and, and really creating that space um, to share in that system to just keep sharing good information that's life changing for people. So it's really, I'm really proud to be a part of this company. And like Isabel said, something happened in Hawaii and that kind of started it too. So I'd hit diamond before that, but then kind of was like coasting a little bit. And then from there, I've just been really consistent. And then um, once I got consistent childcare for my son, I was like, it's go time to like, I'm ready to like really put effort into this. And I'm cutting back on doing massage and doing one-on-ones to really focus my energy on here because I see the, the value in it. I, we can help more people and then it's more time freedom and um, it's just really fun. So I, I could go on and on, but I'll, I really want to have Carrie bring on um, the people on my team, like Nicole, I don't know if Todd's here, but you can bring them on and hear their story because I'm excited for, for them and what they're doing and they're on fire. Yes, thank you so much, Carrie. Um, oh my gosh, so fun to support you. And just for, I'm going to bring on Todd and Nicole Brantley, but just for sake of time really quick, I did ask Nicole Fletcher to speak and she is a doula and she, I think she's on a time constraint. So I'm going to bring her on and then come back to your people on your team. So um, Nicole Fletcher has just been really, she inspires me, whether she knows it or not. Um, I think it's, I find it so inspiring when somebody's just like has that tenacity, like that she's just tenacious energy. Like I will get this, whatever time frame it takes me. Um, and really with like so much heart, so much like faith, authenticity, and like honesty, like she was just the whole way was like, this needs to come in holistically. So Nicole, I would love to bring you on if you're here, Nicole Fletcher. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> I know it's like, where is she in the squares? <laughs> um, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, just to kind of share, um, hitting executive was wild. Um, I felt like um, I felt like I was at the Academy Awards, and like when it like clicked over, and I was like oh my gosh, I have to thank all the people that got me here because I did not get here by myself. So it was just, I mean, I cried and I sobbed and I was just so thankful and so thankful that, um, that it was the Lord. Like I had prayed and I was like, hey, I think executive would be awesome. And God just brought like amazing people around me to like help hold me up and support me and like shoot for that. And it was, it felt like, like no brainer, but also like close to the moment I was like, okay, Lord, are you going like, come like, okay, Lord, like, you know what I mean? Like we we're getting right down to it. And so then I was like, there was this moment and it was 11 PM. And, um, you know, sometimes there's creative ways to kind of help people get, um, get crossover. And I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to trust God. And I felt like if it's going to be, it's going to be, so I'm not going to strive. I'm not going to toil. I'm just going to like, let this happen organically. And it was like, just before 1115, I was like tired. I wanted to go to bed <laughs> and I was like, okay, I just need this to happen. I looked down and I was like, Swah! 
had moved on and I was so excited. So it was just a huge blessing. And I was super thankful for that. And I have to like, just, I do feel like I'm at the Academy Awards. So I'm going to take a, a few moments just to thank some people. Uh, <laughs> so like Deidre Clark has been amazing in this journey for me. Um, just to kind of like change the game and like superfoods, like, is amazing, but there's so much more. It's so complex. It's not just like the soil and the earth. It's like our heart, it's our soul. It's like what we're moving towards, what we're learning, what we're transitioning um, and transforming into and becoming people um, that honor God and all that we do and all that we say and all that we experience. And so for me, that was a big part of it. And um, Deetra's, you know, encouraging and the classes that she does with, uh, with our team has been magnificent and really helped and brought people on that are like, have an attraction towards what she's offering. And then beyond that, it, it changes people's lives. So I'm just really excited and super thankful and thankful for the opportunity um, that you've provided, Carrie, too, and just an organization. And, you know, I'm just going to kind of go all in because that's who I am. But an organization that really does look at uh, and create space for people that are not all homogeneous, right? So like non-white people um, at the top, that's kind of a big deal. And like moving up and creating platforms and creating space for that. And so I don't know. I just love that. And I love being a part of a company um, that is interested and takes value and takes pride and brings that to the table. So um, I feel special here. And so I'm just thankful. Um, I could probably go on a lot and I won't. Um, but thank you, Carrie. Um, just appreciate it. You're muted, Carrie. I said I can't stop smiling. My face hurts. Um, <laughs> I just love you so much. And yes, if I could shout out every single person on this team, I mean, Jen Rosen rocked it. Deetra is just, even though Deetra didn't hit her rank goal, she stayed with her team until the end. Um, and she's just amazing and like blew it past 5k club. And I mean, just, I can't even say enough good things about this team. Uh, so many people ranked executive for the first time. Jessica Mayer hit executive for the first time. Um, we have a fast start executive, Nicole Plurantly. We have a brand new Carrie Tibbles, our green diamond. Jen Rosen, blue pass, blue diamond volume. Just had a little structure stress in the end, but it's coming through for black this month. And we just had like so many rank advancements um, that we could be on here all day. But Nicole, I just, I honor you so much and I'm so happy you're here. Um, and now I want to bring on Todd because Todd is like so new that he doesn't even really know kind of what he's doing yet. Right. Like that, like, oh, yeah. OK, I hit it. Awesome. And it just goes to show his heart. Um, and so Todd Gates hit not only hit executive, but was like almost diamond, just like very, very organically, which I find so incredibly inspiring. Um, and you've brought on some really powerful people underneath you. So I would love to turn the mic over to you, Todd. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, grand grand rising yeah you know I, i'm i've been going through a lot i came back home uh to to massachusetts to boston to take care of my dad lost my mom in 2019 to lupus and kidney failure so it's been a huge transition uh for me <clears throat> to and i left a real good lucrative job with the nba uh because family is more important uh and so i just came across uh um carrie Carrie Tidwell in a, in a clubhouse room. And she just mentioned this to me and I've done MLM companies before. Uh, but what's interesting to me is that this company partnered with cellular regeneration detox specialists. And so when I found that she was a detox specialist and trained under Dr. Morse like myself, I was like, hmm, that's very interesting. And I found Carrie was a detox specialist. And I started learning more about this company, uh, um, Purium, and what their mission was. And I'm all into, uh, uh, as a strength and conditioning coach, and a, detox specialists, getting my clients and my athletes the right type of nutrition and educating people on how the body works. Um, and so I, for me, it was just this company aligned with what I wanted to do um, in terms of healing. Uh, and then uh, obviously the, the monetary value of, of independent financial wealth. Uh, I don't like working for people. So me actually working for the MBA was it's going stepping back into the corporate world with the corporate structure. Um, yeah, the, the paycheck looked good, but you know, you sacrifice your freedom 
uh, in your time with that. And, uh, and I lost my mom while I, <clears throat> while I was actually out of the country, I was trying to get back to see her, but she, she passed while I was on the plane. And so I don't want to miss out on anything and I don't want anyone to suffer or, um, see what I saw because she decided to do hospice at home, um, and teach people that disease doesn't exist and bring re people really good nutrition. And on top of that, Monsanto, my, my dad dealt with, dealt with prostate cancer and we have Roundup uh, in our house and the weed killer. And my dad just didn't know any of these things. Uh, how how uh, Monsanto is just depleting our soils. They spray it everywhere. They don't care. All they care about is their bottom line. I, I've, you know, I'm also an inventor. So I have, so I have, uh, investors who work with fortune 500 companies and they've been in boardrooms and they literally say screw the little man it's about our bottom line they don't care about us at all you know they put a face on on tv smile and say they do but behind closed doors they don't care all they care about is their profits uh, so this company is amazing and i i honestly carrie you are nailed it on the head i still don't know what i'm doing so when when <laughs> so when you told when carrie told me you're so close to executive I'm trying to still understand how these how this works. And I said, okay, um, what do I got to do? So I just got on the phone with some people, uh, and the last hour I signed up three brand partners. And again, I still I really I need to pour more time into this, but I have so much going on, uh, and I am growing it organically. And I I, I brought on Nicole because I she she's got a little bit more together to, than I do. And uh, she's more organized than I am. And, and I've always, one thing I did learn from working in college and the MBA, you surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. Uh, where you're weak, uh, they're strong. And when you do that, uh, it raises everybody up and you don't micromanage. And that's one thing I learned. That's from my, my athletic director I worked with at Boston College, Gene DeFilippo. He didn't micromanage, one of the best athletic directors in the country at the time. And I've, I've instilled that type of... Uh, um, a value in my own business, uh, wherever I work at, you know, surround yourself with people who are smarter than you and stronger where you're weak uh, and don't micromanage them, let them go, support them. What support do you need? That's actually how Carrie, it's pretty interesting how uh, Carrie Drinkwine uh, runs her, her team. You know, she gives crazy support uh, where you're strong. She leaves you a go where, where you're weak. She helps you. Uh, and to me, that's how you grow organically. And I'm still learning so much about this and me not putting as much time as I've wanted to in this business and getting this far, I'm like shocked, you know, and uh, it's, it's going to be interesting to see when I really I'm able to put the type of time that I need to into this business where I can go. Uh, but but I love I mean, who the mission of this of of of, of um, Dave Sandoval to put Monsanto out of business to regenerate our soil, to give our, our earth back its nutrients and health so that we have vibrant uh, vibrant environment for our children, for all the animals. What's, what's not a better mission than that? And I mean, come on, that's all about life. We need to share this earth with everybody. So I just wanna thank everybody, it's not me. I always never give credit to myself. It's everyone around me um, and, and my spirit walkers, my mom who's walked with me, who led me to all of you guys. And so I'm living through her. And that's that's really my incentive to being in this business and helping people is to have my mom look down on me and, and say she's proud. And she pinching me in my butt while she used to do that and say, boy, you better get your butt out there and and talk. Because she was, a, a uh, as I call her, a ratchet jaw. She would never stop talking, networking. And, she saw it, and I'm the, actually the shy one. I don't like putting myself out there, even though people don't think I'm shy. I'd rather be behind the scenes. But this forces them to be out, get me, get out of my comfort zone. And we all need to get out of our comfort zone because you never know what you can discover about yourself when you come out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself. That's what life's about, challenge yourself. So thank you, everybody. I love everybody here. And thank you for my team. You know, peace and blessings. <laughs> thank you, Todd. Amazing. I know we're just a little bit over on time, but I want to give time for Nicole and so many golden nuggets there. Todd, I'll just tell you if you even applied some daily consistent action, like who signs up three brand partners in one hour? He was like, oh, okay, I'll call some people. And what I love about Todd's spirit is that Carrie got on the phone with Todd and was like, Carrie is so close to crown. What can we collectively bring in? And Todd was past his executive goal and he just continued to run. He was like, okay, I'll call some people up and then close out the month almost diamond. 
um, which is just amazing. So Todd, I love you. I am so happy that you are here. I think you're just going to bring such a beautiful and powerful voice um, to the community. And I would love to pass the mic to Nicole and then we'll close out. Nicole is a powerhouse, faster executive. Um, Nicole Brantley here, if you can come off mic. I am off mic. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. So I don't even know where to start after that, Todd. <laughs> Todd's story is so powerful. Um, Todd is the one who was like, okay, Nicole, I sent you this video. You need to watch it. Let's get to it. So uh, it took me about a month, but I was like, no, I want to start at the first of the month. I want to you know, be able to run the whole month. I'm, I'm in with a company that sells non-toxic pads for women who I'm changing the game of people's period lives. I'm like, I need to start at the first. So October 1st, I started, I talked to a few friends. I had a friend who was like, look, I want to run with you. <laughs> so when you sign up, send me your information so I can sign up right behind you. And that is what we did. We both signed up October 1st and we just took off, right? And so Carrie Tedwell was there for me the entire time. She helped me with the sign up process. She was like, do you need anything? This is what you need to do to start. You know, make your 10 videos, do this, do that. Carrie Drinkron was there prior to got on lives with me, you know, on Zooms with me, answered questions. I mean, and from the beginning, I've never felt alone. I will say that. And so I've, I've, I had the support that I needed right there for anything that I needed. But this company, like every day, I just feel like I fall more and more in love with Perium. If I'm reading the blog, if, you know, I'm hearing a story, whatever it is, I'm just like, oh my God. And for me, you know, this month, my experience was experiencing the ULT for myself. Well, day three, let me tell you guys, the clouds parted. I didn't even know I had brain fog at the level that I had it. So I was like, I was just a little sleepy. No, I am so sharp. The mental acuity and the energy in my body is so freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, another person that I would love to shout out in addition to the two carries is Rita. She has been there for me this entire month. Anything that I needed, Zoom, as I'm bringing people in, she's like, let's meet, let's get them on Zoom, let's do it. So the support is just unwavering, unfreaking wavering, unbelievable. I've never felt this supported in my life in a company. Um, and it was a no brainer for me. I was like, "Ooh, they're bold. Put Monsanto out of business, sign me up. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, because I dealt with a son who had severe eczema and I'm sure he had glyphosate in his belly and, you know, all of the things. And so I was like, I'm in. And so I'm helping Sade on her run. We're getting on three-way calls. We're signing up people. And then in this last week, I think I signed up four people. So I had already made consultant Friday night before I went to bed and turned some things in. I'm like, okay, I yeah, we'll see about executive, you know, no, no stress, no pressure, right? So Saturday night, I look at my numbers, I'm like, okay, God, this is what we're it's done. I don't know how it's gonna get done, but it's done. And I literally said that and let it go. So Sunday I had some free time. I just was following up with people because all month long I planted seeds. All month long, Todd and I hosted clubhouses where we talked about the product. We shared our stories for what it did for us, what it did for Todd and his dad. And you know, we had all of these people reaching out. So I'm like, we're just gonna follow up with all of these people and continue to follow up. And so that is what I did over the weekend. I spoke to family, I spoke to friends. And in the last hour, it was so funny because my niece hadn't signed up yet. And I'm like, listen, I need you to sign up. What are you waiting for? This was supposed to happen yesterday. She's like, are you mad at me? No, just do it. I have goals that I'm trying to meet, right? So she she took forever to do it. It took her like an hour. I'm like, where is she at? Like, why is she not doing this? But I'm just still calling other people, friends. Hey, you know, you, you, told, you told me you were interested. And so people were placing orders. I was like, okay, this is amazing. We're going to do this. And I really, honestly, you guys, on Sunday, it was really me wanting to get Carrie to crown. I knew that she was close. I kept getting the text messages from Carrie and Rita. I'm like, I'm, I'm in here. I'm still doing this. I placed the order for over $250 yesterday. Like we're going to get here. Don't even worry about it. Right. And so I had this one lady that I had left to speak to. She was in Washington state. So she was in a completely different time zone for me. I'm in Eastern standard time. So it's after 11 o'clock. I spoke to her maybe around nine and she's like, oh, I'm at the movie theater. I'm going to give you a call back. So I'm like waiting for her to call. She finally texts me, I'm ready. I'm like, we are in the last hour of this thing, <laughs> right? And so right like right prior to that happened, I'm like, where is she at? So I sent Carrie a message. I said, look, my niece purchased her products. I'm 65 points away. I'm going to bed. Carrie's like, no, don't you dare. 
you're not going to bed. I'm saying we're going to be up until this is over. We're not going to bed. So you guys, I get on the phone with this lady. I, I knew she was interested, but I did not know what she was going to do. I knew that she wanted to come into the company as a brand partner. I didn't know if she was going to do it that night. So I was like, God, I'm just going to let this go. And I'm going to talk like she's already in. So when she got on, I said, hey, you know, I know that you're interested. The best way to come in is with a ULT. This is what I did. I did my story real quick and brief. She's like, well, that's what it is. Let, let's do it. What do I need to do? I, I was like, well, you already have the link. Come on, click, click, click. I stepped her through minutes no actually we ended up being over tw after 12 o'clock but i was like holding my breath the entire time so as she's close to checkout i'm texting carrie i'm like we're almost done we're at checkout <laughs> so when it was done i'm like it's done so it was just an amazing amazing feeling and then like right after that all of the messages came out carrie's crown i'm like yes, we did it you know, so it was so exciting. I was, I benefited from it, but I truly wanted to see Carrie hit this status because let me tell you guys, she's so selfless. All that she's doing with two little babies, running a clinic, starting her school, her institute, and she's there when you need her. I mean, all of the calls, like, I'm like, here's Carrie again. Here's Carrie, Friday leadership, like always there. And because of her selflessness, that made me want to ensure that she got to where she wanted to be with her being that close, because this is the thing that I know with the support that I've gotten when it's my turn and I'm there, I know they're going to come through for me. And so that is what I did. We all made it happen. I love my team. We are absolutely on fire. We're going to continue doing this, getting this word out to the masses, because what we have is so life changing, you guys nobody's doing it like we're doing it. And when a product can speak for itself, and it's more than just the product, it's just the, the company that I have now, the, the people that I'm surrounded with, this is my tribe, right? And so for so long, so many people search for their tribe. Well, here it is. And so I've brought on friends, I've gone on perfect strangers. This one lady was on a clubhouse. She was like, I want day three. I said, okay, well, here's the ultimate lifestyle transformation kit. This woman said, and, and can I get it for my dog? I heard you mention something. Different. This woman fits, didn't know me. She was in a room with me on Clubhouse and spent $436. So it just goes to show that when you're vulnerable, when you're transparent, and when you're authentic, people will do what it is they need to do because they see the light in you and truth resonates so deep that you can't turn from it. So I'm gonna land my plane there. I'm so super excited. Thank you guys for letting me share. My first month was amazing. I'm definitely going diamond this month and you'll see the results. I appreciate it. Peace and blessings guys. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> look at that energy. So first one, your earrings are amazing. And two, I just love you. So you can hear that posture. This is the fire that's on our team. So if you feel stagnant in your business, light a fire in your butt, get connected to your purpose and what we're really doing here. And this is the momentum that we're all here. We're in this leadership incubation every Friday morning. We are coming together as a team. We're training. We're talking about what's inspiring us. We're talking about the mission that we're moving the needle on shutting down Monsanto and organic farming and on and on and on. So um, we love you. We're over time. I'm late for another call. Um, but I just love everybody. Thank you so much. Keep working your business, stay close to your heart, stay close to authenticity and just stay in that posture and that belief and keep doing the thing. It'll work for you. So we love you. We'll see you soon. Bye everyone.